Number one show on wager talk. At least that's what they tell me. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Normally on Monday, we have uh, we talk about teams coming off Sunday Night Baseball. Maybe we look to fade them. Well, those two teams are off, but we had four teams playing today that had Sunday off. That's interesting. There's also a great pitching matchup on the docket. Speaking of great, the always exuberant and the red hot Mark Zinno set to join me. Yes, and Tokyo Brandon also set to join us. He's doing well. You can often find him on the leaderboard. Uh, Mark oh, Zinno. Oh, did I, 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 I said the word. Oh, I didn't mean to say it. it I Mark, didn't. Here's what I'm going to say to the Wager Talk audience here in the morning, fans of the morning. Wager. You guys go look at the leaderboard yourself and you tell me. No, see, you didn't. But just none of that makes sense. A guy with eight freaking losses okay <laughs> is, hey, stop this lunacy i'm not gonna go on a rant it's over it's done i don't care anymore you know what i went 13 consecutive games without a loss the leaderboard gave me the middle finger i don't care because our streak was snapped on friday by the way 13 consecutive wins uh but we are 14 and 2 over our last 16 plays so and to the guy in the comment section on friday who told me aggression is coming bite me okay Take your aggression. <laughs> take away the sun, don't shine. How about that? I will, I'm sure, mention regression sometimes on the show. By the way, we went two and one on this show on Friday with yes. our plays that you and I gave out. You are red hot. Oh, hey, one more thing. Yes, yes I, I knew you were going to bring this up. Yes, yes. Let's address this. You know, I, you know, this is my own uh, Zeno address, uh, a la the presidential address. Guys, for the people sitting there in the comment section, like yelling at me for the Braves, oh, good picks, you know, because the Braves weren't a good pick. Um, what we talk about on the show is doesn't always match what we give our clients. That's why we tell you yes. to go to our page, wt.buzz slash mz, wt.buzz slash bp, because those plays are for our clients. So that's why some of this stuff doesn't match up. When I say it was 13 and 0, they were all client plays. I didn't go 13 and 0 on the show, obviously. Some things we got wrong. Um, but again, that's why we encourage you. We had a weekend package, the two of us today. Brian yes, and we I did. same package. We, we shared a package. That's, uh, let's just move past that. Uh, you did win your half of the double play on Friday. And for your half of the double play today, you're going to be talking Astros and Rays. And as we all know, Mark Zeno, Framber is the color of your energy. That's right. I mean, anytime I can get a 311 reference in, I do it. Whoa. Framber Valdez on the mound for the Houston Astros. Uh, Framber is not only the color of your energy. It's, he's also been insanely good as of late. Um, they, the Astros have won his last eight consecutive starts dating back to June 23rd. So when he's on the mound, the Astros play really well. And that includes three road, four road games rather. So, you know, this is a guy that I want to get in a situation. I want to back here against a Tampa Bay Rays team that feels like they've embraced the Brian power philosophy of just calling it quits when everything gets tough. I'm I just, just lay it down and get out of there. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of what it feels like the Rays. I mean, look, the Rays took a, stole a game from the Orioles in that series, but their bats were cold the entire series. Uh, they only scored two runs yesterday in their win. Astros still a good scoring team on the road, not a great scoring team. The Rays can hit lefties. Framber is a lefty, so there is maybe some slight concern there, but guess what? Uh, you still got a Rays bullpen here in this game. That's pretty bad, and I'm not too worried about, um, you know, their, their – them having a, a lead late in this game. Uh, I, I like Houston in this spot. Again, again coming off a, a big series win over the Red Sox, even though they're on the road here. So give me Houston on the money line against Tampa tonight. Okay, go ahead and smash that like button if you're with Zinno on the Strohs in that one. Uh, I am going to be looking at a critical AL Central matchup. Zinno just talked about the AL West versus the AL East. Here's a division game here as I get hit with a baseball bat for absolutely no reason to start the week. But we're talking oh, about geez. the Minnesota Twins and the Kansas City Royals. I do look for the Twins to swing the baseball uh, the, the bats well. Hopefully they don't hit me at any point. Uh, I like the Twins over their team totals, Zinno. Now they're throwing baseballs at me. All right, this is plus money right now. Over four and a half for the Twins team total. Tough end of the weekend. Mark, for Minnesota, they lose Saturday and Sunday to the Guardians after sweeping a doubleheader on Friday. Now they're facing a rested Kansas City team. Yes, Kansas City is one of the four teams in action today that had Sunday off because they had a two-game interleague series. Uh, they split with the cards. But I expect the home team to score here. Royals starter Brady Singer. Mark, get your Brian Power voice ready here because we're going to be talking expected ERA. Brady Singer's actual ERA, 3.03. His expected ERA, 4.57. That's a difference of a run and a half. So regression, yes, 
I said I would say the word regression on the show, and it is coming for Brady Singer. He allowed four runs in five and two-thirds last time out. It could have been more more, because he gave up 10 hits as well. I'm also not in love with that Royals bullpen that we saw blow a game on Friday. Twins' fourth highest scoring home team, gang, 5.02 runs per game. I thought they were unlucky to score only three runs yesterday. They had 11 hits. They They had the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth. Nobody out. They did not score. So I think the Twins put runs on the board over their team total of four and a half to go along with the Astros. That is your double play for Monday. Please let us know your favorite bets for Monday uh, down in the comments section below. We talked about the comments earlier. We love seeing them no matter what they are, positive, negative, neutral. We really like the positive comments more, I'll be honest. But uh, comment down below here on YouTube. comments because you have a fragile ego i don't need positivity i don't care bring me all of your hate i'm I'm here for of it bring me your leaderboard jargon because well that's just a i just can't can't even i I literally think that this has become a thing now that whoever's control this stupid thing is just doing it to troll me so you know uh i i have conceded that yeah that's the all thing if you actually go to the like, the MLB tab, folks, you'll actually make, it make sense. You know, the guy who has the fewest losses and the most wins is in first place, which AKA would be, oh, me. Thank you. Moving on. Now, now if you'd like to get on board with Mark Zeno, since he has promoted himself, uh, as he should, for this tremendous run, you can get on board for the next seven days for the price oh of three days. A brand new special offer to start the week at wagertalk.com. Four days free. This is always one of our more popular specials. $69. That's what normally a three-day pass costs $69. Well, guess what? Right now, you can get seven days for $69. And here's the great thing. If you buy uh, multiple $69 specials from the same handicapper, it's added consecutively. So that would be under $10 a day for one week or longer. But seven days for the price of three. Head on over wt.buzz slash mz or wt dot buzz slash bp and you can get seven days for the price of three shall we get into our best bet sir or is there something else you would like to get off your chest your massive chest nope 69 (laughs) oh there we go all right there we go thanks butthead (laughs) um here here i can't i can't do okay there we go all right remember when he's in the little kids like turn to page 69 and billy's like 69 Yeah, yeah, I remember. You know, what's really I remember. funny is when my kids do that in the back seat of the car when they hear that number and they start yelling it. I have to ignore it. Oh, try to explain. You, you don't even address it. Oh, okay. Like, Please okay. pick Vic- a Brad, why? I'm like, pick a different number. But why? All Let's right. Pick a number, not that one. Anyway. All right, Mark. Mark and I are going to stop 69ing here for a minute and get to the show oh, best bet. <laughs> there we go. I know it was. I wanted to get. You. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yes, my exactly. God. Shall we talk about our show best? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who's uh, been in the 69 position all season is the Chicago White Sox. They are decided underdogs today against the New York Yankees. Uh, I mean, this is a mismatch to end all mismatches. And we like the Yankees to go over their team total today because yeah, why wouldn't we? Uh, they, they should dominate this game. If there's ever a game for a team to dominate, it's going to be the Yankees in this one. Look, there's, there's only two minor concerns here. One, this game is unbettable in any size, way, shape, or form based off the price, right? The Yankees are nearly a three-to-one favorite. Uh, even if you lay the half run in the first five, you're still going to be paying close to two-to-one. So there's not a lot of ways to do it. So you've got to look to the to the team total for the Yankees. Or even if you wanted to try to find a Luis heel to get a win, right, kind of prop mm. out there, which is what we've done before. We probably could, could endorse that when those numbers come out later today. But we're going to take the Yankees team total. It's going to be over five and a half. Why? Because the White Sox pitching is terrible. Now, the White Sox starting a lefty. The Yankees have been notoriously notoriously bad against lefties. But Kai Bush, um, who is not even good enough to get a picture on ESPN.com. It's just a silhouette. Um, mm-hmm. You know, he's only made one start so far this year. It was last week against the A's. He gave up three runs in four innings, uh, walked five. That's a problem. So uh, it was only two hits he allowed. But nonetheless, I don't expect him to be able to go deep in this game. We know how bad the White Sox bullpen is um, and how many runs they give up late. So the Yankees are going to continue to have a chance to score against them here, even if Kai Bush is somewhat effective in the first couple of innings. Once they get to the bullpen, the Yankees' bats should take over. Now, again, we get endorsement here from Brian Power because whenever you are taking a team total over and whenever you're laying one and a half, Brian Power tells you, you can't do it with the home team because they might not get that last at bat. 
Well, guess what? The Yankees are on the road, so they will get that last at bat. They'll get all nine at bats to go over five and a half runs here. And that's where we're going for our best bet today. I don't want to talk anymore if I sound like that. <laughs> oh, well, they are cheering behind the scenes here at wagertalk.com. Oh, I, God, boy, I, I, I walked well right done. into that one, didn't I? Yes, well, why don't you just tell me what you'd like to say? Uh, I'm sure Joe Ranieri would say, wrap it up, if, if you could hear him in my ear. So we will oh, do the jingle. He's thoroughly entertained. He's thoroughly entertained I believe he is thoroughly entertained. Yeah, but, uh, what can I tell you? Yes. Number one show. Uh, if you have not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? You get this show every Monday through Friday. Again, the number one show on Wager Talk. Mark Zinno and I dropping knowledge Monday through Friday. Uh, have, take advantage of that seven days for uh, three days special. Again, just sixty nine dollars. Get on board for seven dollars for seven days. Yes, sixty nine. Yes, that was uh, the magic number today. Uh, I am all out uh, of things to say. If you have not liked or commented on this show, what are you waiting for? Do that right now. I guess and until next go, time. Go, I, listen, make a complaint to Wager Talk to get the leaderboard correctly, please. Thank you. I'm just waiting for the jingle. I think Joe's not doing it despite me. But uh, until next time, let's catch some tickets. Nine, eight, one.